I wanted to give you a quick tour of how my classroom's art cabinet is because most of these are all the supplies that you will need to go through the CHIRP curriculum and do pretty much all of the motor activities. So obviously we have yarn. We use this a lot for the mini books because that's how we tie them. We have glue sticks and little kid scissors. We've got tissue paper that's cut up into little squares and lots of other colors of tissue paper back there. We have glitter. We have watercolors, which we often use as a quickie art activity for those days when I just didn't get myself in gear. We use this with the coloring sheet instead of crayons because kids seem to like the watercolors even better. I have a huge thing of cinnamon, which I use for a lot of art projects because it's very soothing to kids to use cinnamon for art activities, sometimes instead of glitter. But I also have a little guy who's very, who has, a, who needs a lot of um, input through his olfactory senses. And so we dip the cinnamon in one of these balls and then we let him carry it around and it makes him very happy. I have strips of paper and shredded up paper in that box. I have pipe cleaners and I have all my paint and some of my paint I decanted into these uh, little squirt bottles that yes I used to use on my hair when it was full of detangler and um, about three quarters water and then about one quarter paint. As long as the paint doesn't have glitter in it, it squirted out and made a really cool pattern on the paper that the students really enjoyed. I put all of the crayons into these little tin containers that I could write the students' names on, and I have them all sitting there so I can just whip them out and put them on the table and they are all good to go. And back there I have magnets in this box magnetic strips that I can use for the Bible verses or for other things I might choose, maybe the main idea strips. There's a box full of Google Eyes back there. I ended up having lots of Google Eyes. And I also have a container that is full of ribbon. There's bubble wrap in this huge container back there. And then in the back here, I have a box full of different kinds of stickers. Stickers are not usually required for the CHIRP curriculum motor activities. However, I like to do them as additional activities if kids are having a really sensory day because it soothes everyone to take stickers off of their backing and put them on paper and just see them being beautiful. So there you have my art cabinet. It is well stocked for the activities that we do. I hope it's helpful to you. Have a great day. Bye.